I can't believe this didn't go viral. Hi and very welcome. My name is Mary. This is my channel Lumi Level Up and I'm a luxury lover on an average income trying to be more mindful with my money. And today I present to you the perfect mindful luxury item to go for, at least if you ask me. If you are a returning viewer, you might know that in the recent year I've been yeah, we can even say bashing the Dior Midori lipstick holiday sets because they were not that much of a good deal anymore. I think I started covering these lipstick sets in 2021, back when it was $190. In 2022, it already was $240. And last year's Dior set had a whopping price point of $300 or even 350 euro in Europe. So when I found this Prada lipstick set for only 150 euro, I was curious immediately. And, well, we will take a look at it right now. But even just the picture made it look so much better than the Dior set, at least to me. And the price does match this time, because the entire set, including the clutch, was 150 euro, as I already said. One regular Prada lipstick comes at a retail price of 45 euro. A refill comes at the price of 35. So if you calculate it all together, the lipsticks inside of this set have a price point of 150 euro. So it is the way I would wish for at Dior as well, that you pay the lipsticks and you get the clutch for free. I don't want to make this any longer. You're probably very curious for the clutch, which comes nicely wrapped. And if I may say so myself, this is a very substantial size for a freebie pouch clutch that comes with cosmetics. The problem here is that it is very mirrory, very metallic, so it's not that easy to film and it reflects literally everything. Another con that I have already realized is that it definitely shows fingerprints. But let's get it out of the box. So. Can you see how big this clutch is in my hands? How big it is compared to my head? And you can already see, because I already played with it, that it does show first fingerprints and it shows fingerprints all the time. So you have to constantly be wiping it clean, but I don't mind for 150 euro getting a beautiful metallic triangle Prada clutch that's so on trend at the moment, filled with lipsticks. So when we open this up, Oh, I shaked it a little bit too strong, so the lipsticks are flying around. When we open this up, it comes with a mirror. It comes with cardboard and the four lipsticks. One of them is a full size, and I think I have to change my position a little bit so that I can put close-ups for you here. So it comes with one full size lipstick and three refills. I took a close-up of each lipstick, and you already saw when I took this lipstick out, the cardboard wanted to come out with me right away. So it's so easy. You just grab it and take it out and you have a clutch. To not make it any more exciting than it might be. This is my phone, a iPhone 14. It does fit. This is a Prada clutch in a useful size that can hold all your essentials for the incredible price of 150 euro. I'm so sorry this is reflecting like crazy in my little viewfinder here. I did film a what fits portion for you so you can get even a better idea what this clutch can hold and I will roll that for you now before I have some more words for you. So enjoy that part. This is the what fits part of the video. As you can see, I have my phone up there lying on a glass table. I do have a Louis Vuitton mini pochette with me because we as luxury lovers love to use this little mini micro bag as a measurement for comparison. So as you can see, the Prada clutch has some more edges, but the mini pochette has in this direction some more room to it. But in depth, the Prada clutch seems to be a lot bigger and obviously there is no way the Louis Vuitton mini pochette would fit into that clutch but it's not necessary because it's a small bag so we don't need any more organization inside. When we fold it open you see we have a compartment here and the part with the mirror you can store things up to that height as well. I tried different scenarios which do fit as you saw my regular phone the iPhone 14 
is the one I'm filming with. So this is an iPhone S, my old phone, which does fit with a case. My iPhone 14 does fit as a very tight fit as well, but just without the case. If I have a case on my phone like this one, there is no way of fitting my phone inside, but without the case, it's a tight fit. And a friend of mine ordered this clutch as well. She has an iPhone 11, which does not fit. So be careful with the measurement if it's a requirement for you to have your phone fit. So the iPhone S with the case on is quite similar to my iPhone 14 and I actually can fit everything I need. This is a card holder filled with four cards. And this is my car key with one more key. In this case, it's the garage, but it could be your house key as well. I can fit a Louis Vuitton key clay where you could store some more keys or cash. A mini perfume, let's see, a miniature lipstick, and it easily closes. Let's see if we could put something more inside, if we want to take a Chanel compact as well. No, that's too much. So if you would want to take a compact, you would have to get rid either of your key pouch. Let's see if this closes. Oh, no, it still doesn't close. So we have to get rid of the card holder as well. Now it does close and maybe it works with the compact and the pochette key pouch. No, it does not either. So you have to decide going for these two or going for that one. And obviously you have to play a little bit of Tetris. If you want to take a full size lipstick, it is possible like that. And it's as well possible doing so with the compact. My AirPods, I do have them in a case. Let's see if they can fit as well. No. Not like that, but maybe if I leave the lipstick out. No, they are too thick, so if I would want to take them, let's see. I wouldn't be able to fit my phone then, probably. Yeah, this fits. So I hope this gives you an idea of how much this bag can hold. And definitely check the measurements to make sure if you have a mobile phone that does fit. Here we are again. I love the color of that interior. I didn't know how to call it in English, so maybe you have seen on my Instagram that I started a little question, not sure how to call it otherwise, asking you how this shade of green is called. And we had mint, we had pistachio, and we had sage green pastel. Still not entirely sure what's the perfect name for that green, for that shade. I just know that I love the shade. and. This could not have went any better. I'm so happy with the amount that fits inside of the clutch. I really don't understand why this didn't go viral, why we don't have seen it all over social media. A few days ago, I was suggested this clutch by a German beauty retailer and it had even a little flag saying new. So I don't know if they did not even have it in stock before the holidays. Prada did post this item on their Instagram right before Christmas and they say it is a holiday set. So what went wrong Prada? Why didn't we know about this before Christmas? Why didn't this go crazy on social media? When I saw the pictures at the German retailer, I started to search the entire internet because I wanted to make sure what does it fit? How does it look? Does it look cheap and flimsy? But I couldn't find anything. I found two TikToks and that's it. I don't know why because I think this is such a great item and this time actually worth the price. Honestly, even the packaging is so cute. This little triangle, we have to see now if this Prada monochrome clutch sticker does peel off because that does not look too good. And if this peels off, you might repurpose this little cardboard box as well. Doesn't look too good here. Definitely it's not as easy as it has been to remove the cardboard from inside to make the clutch a clutch. Okay, seems like I'm not able to get this off, which is a pity because this ruins the box for me. Maybe I have to try later off camera, but so far it doesn't look too good to get this off the box so you could repurpose that. Well, I guess most of you in my luxury community are here for the clutch and wanted to see that and what it fits. Look, look how big it is. 
and clutches are back in style. But some of you might be curious for the lipsticks. So I'm actually already wearing one of them, the most neutral everyday one of them. Let me check real quick if the website tells you color names. They seem to just have numbers, no real color names. The effect of the lipstick is matte. It's supposed to hold on the lips up to 12 hours. I cannot speak on that yet because I just applied it for this video. But we can do some swatches. So the one the lipstick comes with is a brownish red, I would say. Wow, I'm not a beauty YouTuber, never swatched anything before. So that's that one. Probably we're better off with close-ups. The one on my lips is the one I like the best because this one is best for everyday use. I chose such a stupid placement for those swatches because, sorry, not really know what I'm doing. Then we have a very bold red. And the last one is kind of a berry shade. These lipsticks, they do have a triangle so that they are easier to apply, but I have to admit, I don't think it was that easy of an application, maybe because I'm not used to that shape, or maybe because I was trying to apply it in a way so that the lipstick still looks very good, because obviously I wanted to show it to you on camera. So these are the swatches. We started here. This is the one on my lips, the very red red, and the berry kind of shade. Which one is your favorite color and how do other YouTubers do the swatch thing? Because I really <laughs> would have to turn my arm like crazy. Ah, another thing I wanted to tell you. So I found that set at Douglas, which is a German perfume store, and they do have stores in different European countries as well. I will link that lipstick clutch for you in case you want to check it out. And unfortunately, I was not able to find it anywhere on the US market. I checked out the Prada website and couldn't find it. I checked out Sephora and couldn't find it. I tried to Google and couldn't find it. I even contacted Prada Beauty on Instagram to ask them where in the US you can get that set, that clutch. At the point I'm filming this video, I did not have an answer yet. If they do answer in the meantime, until I put that video out, of course I will show you the answer where you can find that set, because obviously I want to share it with all of you. I think this is such a great product, such great value for money that it would be a shame if it's just orderable for everyone in Germany and maybe in Europe. I'm not entirely sure which countries Douglas does shop, so if you do not live in Germany but you are curious for that product, maybe just check out the website and see if they do ship to your country. You can switch to English on the website, as far as I'm concerned, and then just see if they do ship to where you are and how much the shipping would be, because I tried my best to find more retailers where that item is sold and unfortunately I wasn't able to find anything. I'm not sure if it is because this was a holiday collection and by now it did sell out everywhere, which I have a hard time to believe, because if it actually did sell out everywhere, why didn't we see it anywhere? I can't get my head around how this item stayed a secret because I think it could pass as an actual Prada hardcover clutch. It does not look like a cosmetics freebie. It is all silver with the Prada logo in gold and nowhere on the outside this tells you it is a beauty item freebie. Not on the back, not on the sides, definitely not on the front. Only if you open it up on the mirror we have Prada beauty written on it. Oh and there is still a foil on the mirror to even protect it. So yeah, this is the only place where you can tell this is not a regular retail item. And maybe I am mad at Dior at this point because I just think their prices went so crazy in the past years. But I even do enjoy this design way more because the Prada clutches, they have been around for years. Everybody knows them by now. Everybody knows that they come with cosmetics by now. And they are not even free anymore. You pay a lot for these once freebie clutches at Dior. I don't really get them. But here you pay for the lipsticks and you still get the clutch for free. And that clutch looks so much more like an actual hardcover clutch to me than the Dior ones, because we don't have seen this everywhere. The triangle shape is very well known for Prada. So this could pass as a very trendy Prada clutch at the crazy price point of only 150 euro. 
I'm rambling on. I think I showed you everything I wanted to show you in this video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you next time and bye. <laughs> Had you seen that clutch anywhere before my video? Because I, I can't wrap my head around it how this did not blow up. Why? This is such great value for money. I haven't seen a valuable set like that for the holidays in a long time. And then there is one and no one knows about it. It's the mid of January now that I found this by accident. Everybody knows that, that, that they come... <laughs>